Four Hits Sports Network and Cool TV proudly present KCU Basketball. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Clark Pump and Shops of the Dry State, ANA Porta Potties, River City Builder, Store Pharmacy, Member's Choice Credit Union, Grace Hermanos Mexican Restaurant, First National Bank of Grayson, and Kentucky Christian University. Now let's go to the court for countdown to tip off on the Cool Hits Sports Network and Cool TV. Again, everybody, and thank you so much for tuning in this week to Kentucky Christian University basketball. I'm Chauncey Griffith, and I'm so glad to have you along. We're live today from Grayson, Kentucky, on the campus of Kentucky Christian University, where the Lady Knights are are set to take on an Appalachian Athletic uh, Conference opponent, the Point Skyhawks. It looks to be a pretty good one between two of the the top tier programs, uh, women's basketball programs, I should say in the Appalachian Athletic Conference. Uh, Coach Tory Woolley is in his 10th season uh, he, at the helm of the Point Women's Basketball Program. He has uh, some pretty good accolades uh, along the way. He's coached seven AAC All-Freshman players. He's had three NCAA All-Region, or NCCAA, excuse me, All-Region players, one NAIA honorable mention, um, a couple players of the year, and uh, he's led his team to a 24-7 and record last season. They were 18-6 and in the AAC, and actually they started the season last year 10-0. and So uh, a, pretty decent, uh, a pretty decent team coming in. They're coming in this year at 4-4, four and four, and, uh, you know, they're going to be looking to pick up the W here on the road in Grayson. Coach uh, Dr. Lisa Kahn is in her sixth year. She's 69-84 and overall. They were 19-14 and last year, the, the, the KCU uh, women's basketball program. They were 14 and 10 in AAC play. Um, and uh, they're looking also to pick up obviously the W here today. Coach Khan's got her team rolling this year. They're six and two, and uh, they're coming off of a big win uh, back on Wednesday on the road in uh, Tennessee down at Johnson. Uh, they won that one by a score of 65 to 47. We're gonna step out, take our first break here of the pregame show. And uh, when we come back, we'll have some stats and some analysis leading into this ball game. It looks to be a pretty good one here in Grayson, back after this on the Cool Hits Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with homeowners. If you've, if you've been, been putting, putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you, you owe, owe it to yourself, yourself to check, check out First Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. In addition to the Greenup location, Stelts Pharmacy's newest location is at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore, but has retained the name you know and love, McDonald Pharmacy. With the same great service you'll find in the Greenup location, with free delivery service and their convenient drive through Get your vaccinations and allergy shots, and of course, great prescription service. At Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and McDonald Pharmacy, James Hanna Drive, South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Happy holidays from Clark's Pump and Shop. Stop in this winter weather season and warm up with one of our coffees, hot chocolates, or lattes. Custom made just the way you like it. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around and we're back here in Grayson uh, Chauncey Griff glad to have you along here uh, live streaming our first KCU basketball game here and it's it's going to be a pretty good one I do believe the point Skyhawks and the KCU Knights in women's basketball and then after that that game's at noon then after that the the men's play uh, or the men's programs play I should say 
at 2 p.m. And we're going to be bringing you that one as well here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. A beautiful um, weather inside the gym, I, I should say. Uh, outside, a little cold, a little windy, but uh, that doesn't matter in basketball. Um, as I mentioned before we went to break there, KCU coming in there 6-2 and two on uh, the season after defeating Johnson, Tennessee, uh, back on Wednesday by a score of 65-47. They were led in scoring um, in that ball game by a five-foot seven point guard, senior Jada Higgins. She had 21 points in that basketball game. She was uh, seven of nine from the free throw line, seven of 15 from the field, didn't attempt a, a three. Uh, as a team, it looks like KCU from the field shot a Shot at 20 points. No, I'm sorry. They shot 33% from the field, 20.7% from three, and 70% from uh, the free throw line. Um, and any win's a good win, but uh, putting up 65 points, not too shabby. The uh, Point Lady Skyhawks coming off of a uh, win as well. That one was over Tennessee Wesleyan that put them up to four and four on uh, the season. That, that was back on Wednesday as well, 64-48 the score. And uh, it was a pretty good basketball game for the Lady Skyhawks as well as a team. They shot uh, 43% from the field goal. So that's pretty good, 44%, 43.5. We'll give them that extra half percent round up. Uh, from three, they shot 37.5 in that game, and they were 100% from free throw line. They attempted four and made four. The last time these two teams faced off, the KCU and Point was back in February of this year. It was last season, and uh, Point came out on top of that uh, basketball game by a score of 79 to 67, a double-digit lead for the Lady Skyhawks. And uh, they look to continue that success here but uh, KCU's got something otherwise planned. Uh, in that basketball game, uh, leading scorer Hannah Williams, uh, no, I take that back, Hannah Williams had 22 for the Lady Skyhawks. Sh uh, Shavon Owens uh, had the leading score, 23 points for her this year. Uh, she's back on the roster. She's a, a five foot 11 senior and uh, she's looking to have a good performance again here tonight. Marta Jimenez, the other uh, double-digit scorer for point in that basketball game, she wears number 32, and she had 15 points uh, in that basketball game. We're going to step out, take a break, and when we return, we're getting closer and closer to we're getting closer and closer to game time, and we're going to come back. We'll have some starting lineups and. Uh, a whole lot of basketball here to come uh, from Grayson, Kentucky. It's going to be a good one. Back after this on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Need some extra money for home improvements or other purchases? How about a home equity line of credit with absolutely no closing costs? We have some exciting news from our loan department at First National Bank. Right now, open a home equity line of credit at First National and we will pay all the fees at closing. Hurry into one of our eight locations to take advantage of this great offer. First National Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Does your gas station or convenience store need a facelift? If so, call River City Builders at 473-4112 for your remedy. Big or small projects, River City's Builders is a company for all your needs. We have extensive experience in the petroleum industry, from routine gas dispenser and canopy maintenance to above-ground, underground tank and popping work to full-blown remodels and new builds. Call River City Builders at 473-4112 for all your petroleum needs. We'll cover your back and keep your customers pumping gas. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. 
Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. Back in Grace and Chauncey Griffith, glad to have you along. Uh, both teams out on uh, the court here in Grayson on the campus of Kentucky Christian University. The Lady Knights, uh, they'll be wearing their home white uniforms, white jerseys, white uh, shorts in red. And right now they're wearing uh, their shooting shirts, red shooting shirts. Uh, point will, on the road, they'll be wearing their dark uniforms, uh, navy blue, I guess you would say, dark blue with a Skyhawk logo on uh, their thigh. Uh, baby blue and yellow is uh, are the other two, the, the uh, accent colors, I guess you'd call them on the uniforms. Uh, they've got piping down, uh, on the uh, bottoms of their shorts. Good looking uniforms as well. So uh, we're, uh, we're looking forward to bringing the action here uh, from Grayson, both teams, uh, both head coaches. Uh, it seems like they have a good relationship. They've been over uh, talking quite a while here this uh, this morning uh, as we were getting set up here in the booth and uh, looks to be uh, a pretty good contest um, here in Grayson. Talking with uh, KCU Athletic Director David Manning, uh, he, he talks about how excited he is here uh, about the things going on on the campus and the, and the, the direction that the university is taking. And uh, we're, we're just happy to be here and, and, and blessed to be a part of it. Uh, bringing you the action uh, here on the Cool Hit Sports Network. We've got one more break to get in. We're going to step out and take that. And when we come back, we will have starting lineups and we'll have a whole lot of basketball yet to come. Back after this on the Cool Hits Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. In addition to the Greenup location, Stelts Pharmacy's newest location is at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore, but has retained the name you know and love, McDonald Pharmacy. With the same great service you'll find in the Greenup location, with free delivery service and their convenient drive through Get your vaccinations and allergy shots, and of course, great prescription service. At Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and McDonald Pharmacy, James Hanna Drive, South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. For those on the go, the smoothie connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all. Happy Holidays from Clark's Pump and Shop. Stop in this winter weather season and warm up with one of our coffees, hot chocolates, or lattes. Custom made just the way you like it. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Are you having trouble keeping your parking lot lit? Is customer safety one of your top priorities? If so, call River City's Builders at 473-4112 for all your lighting needs. We have bucket truck and boom crane truck services. We have extensive experience in exterior lighting and parking lot lighting maintenance. No need to ever be in the dark again. Remember, call River City's Builders at 473-4112 for all your lighting needs. We will light your path to success. And we're back here in Grace, and both teams making their way over to uh, to their respective benches. And uh, we're getting ready to get things rocking and rolling here in the gym. The KCU Lady Knights and the Point Lady Skyhawks set to, to face off here in uh, NAIA basketball action. And uh, I'm Chauncey Griffin. I'm glad to be here. Uh, thankful to have the opportunity to be here bringing you the, uh, the action here from Grayson as both teams uh, looks like – I think we might have the national anthem. As uh, the, the uh, if you're watching on the live stream, there you can see the uh, KCU uh, Lady Knights lined up there, about uh, right about the uh, 
charity stripe. So we're going to, uh, before we uh, go over the starting lineups, we're going to probably step out, take another two minute break. That way we can uh, have the opportunity to stand for the uh, national anthem. And I, I assume they'll probably have a word of prayer too. So we're going to step out, take one more break. And uh, when we come back, we'll have the action here from Grayson. Back after this on the Cool Hits Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members' Choice Credit Union. Members' Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members' Choice Credit Union today. Members' Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. In addition to the Greenup location, Stelts Pharmacy's newest location is at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore, but has retained the name you know and love, McDonald Pharmacy. With the same great service you'll find in the Greenup location, with free delivery service and their convenient drive through Get your vaccinations and allergy shots, and of course, great prescription service. At Stoltz Pharmacy in Greenup and McDonald Pharmacy, James Hanna Drive, South Shore. Stoltz Pharmacy. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Happy holidays from Clark's Pump and Shop. Stop in this winter weather season and warm up with one of our coffees, hot chocolates, or lattes. Custom made just the way you like it. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. Back in Grayson, Chauncey Griffith, glad to have you along. We're getting ready to rock and roll here as both teams making their way over to their respective benches, and it's time now for starting lineups uh, for both teams. And we will start with the home team on the scoreboard, the home team here in this court, the KCU Lady Knights. It looks like starting uh, first a... Five foot ten senior uh, playing forward and center, Lakin Atkins. Starting number three, a five foot seven junior guard, Reagan Atkins. Um, starting number two, a five foot seven junior point guard, shooting guard, Abby West. Also starting um, number 14, a five foot seven senior point guard, Jada Higgins. And a five foot eight senior guard, Jasmine Flowers. That's your starting lineup for the KCU Knights. And for the Point Skyhawks, it looks like starting number 13, a 5'11 junior guard and forward, number 13, Muriel Cannon. Um, Number 20, a five foot seven sophomore guard, Ansley Miranda. Number 11, a five foot nine junior forward, Matea Boyd. Number three, a 
five six junior guard number three destiny ellison that's your starting lineup for the point skyhawks if you're watching on the stream right now sorry i had to do that out of order i didn't have the starting lineup for points so i had to get them as they were called but uh, now you're watching here on the stream this is your starting lineup for the kcu uh, lady knights they're uh, announcing them here in the gym and you can see them on the video as well you got abby west out there she's a 510 junior forward from Lawson State Community College. Uh, also in the starting lineup, a 5'6 junior guard, Destiny Ellison. She's from Sandersville, Georgia. She went to East Georgia uh, before making her stop here at KCU. Also out there, number four, a five foot nine uh, graduate student, guard number four, that's Dominique Cook in the starting lineup from Fayetteville, North Carolina. She went to St. Andrews before transferring here to KCU. Um, also out there, number 22, a five foot five senior guard, uh, majoring in exercise science from Niceville, Florida, Jasmine uh, Griggs. And we're ready to rock and roll here. Um, here in Grayson, Kentucky. Both teams making their way out here. We got some final instructions over here from the uh, officials and both teams looking to get things going here early on. I think it'll, it'll a big thing here is gonna come down to who uh, who opens up with the lead and who and, and whether or not they're able to hang on to it. We got some tall girls out there and it looks like uh, Point touches the tip, but KCU comes away with it. That's Abby West with the basketball and makes a move under that hoop and a quick two points for her. Makes it two to zero KCU here early on. We got 10 minute quarters. We're down to 944 in KCU with uh, a two point lead. Double team around mid court and the ball stolen away again. Abby West comes away with it. A good pass down under the hoop and now it's back out to Jasmine Flowers who puts it up from three left side up and no good. Rebound goes to point. Reagan Adkins brings it down. No, that's not Reagan Adkins. That's Destiny Ellison. Two points go to point, and we're back the other way, all tied up at two. So we've had one lead and one tie now, and we're moving the other direction. Back down the court is Jada Higgins. She kicks it out to West, now back into the paint, and gets the ball back out to Lake and Adkins out front. Adkins bounce past the Flowers in the lane right side, trying to find something, nothing there. Kicks it back out front to Higgins. Higgins looking to her right. She's gonna kick it back to the left to Adkins for a long three off the mark, no good. Rebound goes to point. Looks like Matea Boyd came down with that one and gave it to Ellison. She's gonna bring it down, looks to her right. Down into the paint now with the basketball is Muriel Cannon. And she puts it up, she's gonna be fouled though. That's one team foul now for KCU, the foul. I believe is going to be on Flowers. That's our first foul, and that'll send Cannon to the line for her first free throw. It's good. She's now one for one from the line here today. The second one up off the front of the rim and through the basket. Two points for her. She's two for two from the line. That puts point ahead by two now, four to two with eight and a half to go in the first. Bringing it down the court is Higgins. She kicks it over to West, back to Higgins. Now, now to West. West dribbles in, kicks it back out to Higgins for three left side off the mark. It hits off the backboard, and the rebound goes to point. We're moving the other way in a hurry now. Ellison, she's going to get it down inside to her teammate, Cannon. Cannon puts it up, and that was good as well. Two points for her, and we're moving back the other way. Six to two now. And some points from the paint there down the right side baseline, I guess you'd say Flowers gets on the board. Gets her team back within two, six to four. Three quarter court pressure from KCU as Point gets the ball down the court. Right side for three off the mark uh, is Cannon and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Point. Into the basketball game now for Kentucky Christian University as Kylie Gillum. She's gonna give Higgins a break. Also uh, for point off came Destiny Ellison and on to the court came Shavon Owens. 
Down to 7.35 in the first, and here we go. Uh, KCU with the basketball. Abby West dribbles left, looks back out front, kicks it over now in the hands of Reagan Adkins on the corner. She's going to kick it over to Gillum, top of the key. Bounce pass into the paint. It goes to Lakin Adkins. She puts it up. No good. Rebound fought for, but taken by point. Bringing it down the court is Jimenez. She's directing a little traffic. Now a spin move and two points in the paint from Shavon Owens. That's her first two points of the basketball game. Eight to four is your score. Abby West is going to walk it for KCU through the backcourt, brings it across, looking to her right. She's going to dribble left, though, into the lane. Nothing there. Good defense here from point, but a bounce pass down under the, under the basket and a good-looking uh, spin move and a hook shot there from Kylie Gillum gets her on the board. Eight to six, your score. Point ahead by two. Points are going to slow the pace down a little bit. Marta Jimenez brings it across, dribbles right, bounce pass down inside to Boyd. She spin moves and she puts it up and the shot's good. And the foul is good as well. So she's going to take a trip to the free throw line. Uh, drawing the foul there. Got a chance for three points the old fashioned way. The foul on KCU's Kylie Gillum, that's her first foul. Two team fouls now for KCU. The free throw is good as well. And here we go back the other way. Little pressure this time defensively from point, but KCU gets the ball down there after a series of passes. A shot blocked in the paint there by from Flowers. She tried to put it up, somebody got a hand on it. Point moving the other way in a hurry. At the free throw line is Shavon Owens with the basketball. She's going to kick it back out front to her teammate Jimenez. Jimenez dribbles right, bounce pass into the free throw line to Boyd. Boyd gets it back out for three, right side. That is a good, that's good there. That's not uh, Naughty, uh, N-A-D-I, that made that point there. 14 to six now, point leads. A good move there. Uh, penetration and two points from Lakin Adkins gets her on the board back within six as KCU 14 to eight. Looks like point with the basketball. Uh, Naughty gets it back out front there to her teammate. And now back over on the right side, it goes to Matea Boyd. They're just playing keep away right now, trying to wait for some to open up. They get the ball down inside. And a shot's no good in the paint. And the ball, loose ball, is picked up by KCU. Bringing it the other way is Lake and Adkins. She kicks it back out for three. And that one's good. Her teammate, Kylie Gillum, that's five points for her now. And KCU back within three, 14 to 11. Boyd down. Naughty with the basketball. Bounce pass inside to Hewley. And I think she's going to be fouled on the floor. Got subs both ways into the game for KCU comes Samantha Wells. And back into the ball game comes Jada Higgins. And off comes Gillum and Adkins. Inbound caught there by, K, uh, sorry, Worrells who just came into the game, but her shot was no good. Rebound KCU, and we're back the other way. Jada Higgins with the basketball, top of the key. She's going to kick it over to West. West directing a little traffic here. Going to dribble in, calls for a screen, gets one, then bounce pass back over to Higgins at the top of the key. She makes a move, gives it over to Flowers for three. Off the front of the rim, no good, and rebound goes to Point. Coming the other way is Point. Boyd with the basketball for three from the right side, and that was good as well. And that's five points for her now. And her team back ahead by seven. Just inside the arc, that one's no good. But no good there from Higgins. And a quick transition the other way, and two points for Matea Boyd. Give her seven now. 19 to 10 is the score. West is going to walk it uh, through the backcourt for KCU. You got Coach uh, Khan over there directing a little traffic, calling a play offensively. A series of passes, and that one's going to be knocked away, taken by point. Moving the other way in a hurry in transition is Jimenez. She gets it in the paint. 
Now back out, it's going to go. And the whistle prevented Matea Boyd there from a wide open three on the right side. And it was an offensive foul, I do believe. And that's going to bring us the other way. Higgins comes off and on the court now for KCU back on the court is going to be Lindsay Castle. So we see her for the first time actually. West is going to bring across directly on a little traffic, kicks it over left side to Lindsay Castle. Castle's going to dribble in just up, uh, over top of the free throw line, puts it up no good. A, a physical rebound though from Worrells for point gets it moving the other way. Mariel Cannon tries for a layup there in some traffic, no good. Rebound goes to West. She's going to bring it down herself in a hurry. Tries to get in that lane, nothing there. Big, uh, big size mismatch with the defender. And on the rebound, we've got a foul, and it's going to be against KCU. The foul was on West. I believe that's her first foul. KCU now with four fouls as a team. Checking into the game for the Lady Knights, uh, Lakin Adkins. Off comes Jasmine Flowers. And here we go. Marta Jimenez brings it across, dribbles to her right. Her pass almost knocked away, but it is caught down inside by Worrells. Worrells gets it back out now. They tried to get it back into the paint to Worrells, but it's off her fingertips out of bounds. I don't even know that she got a hand on it, but it was last touch by a point, and we're going the other way. West is going to inbound it to her teammate. That is Lindsey Castle. Castle gives it back to West. Calling a play as she comes down through the backcourt. Brings it across the timeline, dribbles left, hands it over to Atkins. Atkins pulls up, thinks about going for a three, but got a defender right in her face. Probably a good call she didn't. Wells dribbles in, back out front it goes to Castle, and the ball stolen away by Jimenez. She's going to pull up just inside the three line. No good, but she ends up with her own rebound and a layup on the right side. The shot's no good, but she is fouled. So she's going to take a trip to the free throw line for two shots. The foul was on West. That's her second foul. Back into the basketball game comes Jada Higgins. Off goes Kagan Adkins. First shot up for Jimenez. She gets it to fall. 20 to 10 the score now. Second shot falls as well. That means 21 to 10 your score here with, tw with two minutes, six seconds to go in the first. West is going to bring it across the back line, direct a little, or back court, I should say, directing a little traffic, trying to get her team back in this thing. She dribbles left side. Nothing there, though. Her pass, she try, was trying to get it back out to her teammate, and a big transition here after a series of passes and a big layup from points. Worrells, that gets her on the board, and we've got a timeout, a 30-second timeout from uh, Coach Kahn over there. Not happy is Coach Kahn. Uh, not happy with the uh, way her team playing right now, down by 13 points here in the first. One minute, 41 seconds to go in this ball game. Your score, point 23, and KCU 10. Uh, something that I, I, an interesting stat that I did notice, KCU with uh, five team fouls here in the first. Uh, point was zero. They have not fouled one time, and uh, you know, that. That's unusual, I guess, but uh, especially for a, a physical basketball team like Point, but uh, doing a great job is uh, Coach Woolley and his uh, staff. They've got their team playing. Coach Kahn um, working on getting hers playing as well, down by 13 points. I do see over at the scorer's table, um, I'm a jack of all trades over there running the, clock, or running the, uh, the scoreboard. Paul Rodriguez, the uh, place kicker for the KCU football team. He, I think he's got his hand in a little bit of everything out here on campus. A, a good young man for sure. Having some trouble here with the uh, with the uh, clock, I think, during the timeout. The clock ran a little bit, and they're trying to get it back where it needs to be here. A 
officials over on the uh, over at the score table there trying to get that straightened out. And it looks like uh, a little extra time here for the coaches to give a little bit of instruction as uh, as uh, the officials work on that. I think it should be like a minute 41. Yeah, that, it's back up there. Minute 41, so they burned about, well, about 30 seconds close to it anyway off the clock because it was down to uh, 109. So that's a big or a big difference, I guess you'd say, in, in uh, basketball time. So back to a minute 41 left to go here in the first, and we're ready to rock and roll. It's going to be KCU football. Jada Higgins is going to inbound it just over in front of the scorer's table. And it looks like Taylor Isaac in the basketball game here. She's going to, as soon as we're ready to go here, she's going to be the one uh, taking the inbound. I do see a defender making her way up into the backcourt. So we're going to be uh, man defense here from point. Higgins with the basketball. Looks left for three, a long three there, just off the mark for Isaac, and we're moving back the other way. Moving that way in a hurry, as a matter of fact. Looks like uh, Jimenez with the basketball. She's going to dribble to her right, guarded by West. Kicks it back out front to Cook for three, no good. The rebound fought for, taken by point, and two points for Kyleo Worlds. That's four points for her in this basketball game. 25 to 10 is the score. Down to one minute to go here in the first. West brings it across, kicks it over to her left to Higgins. Higgins gets it back out front to Wells. Wells gives it back to Higgins. Higgins is going to try to penetrate that lane right side. She's able to do so. Gets two points out of the deal. According to my scorebook, that's her first two points of the basketball game, 25 to 12 here in the first, down to 35 seconds to go in the first period of play. Point with the basketball. Boyd's going to try to take it herself in the lane. And uh, ball goes out of bounds. Good defense there from KCU. Down to 28 seconds. And... Do we have a timeout? Nope, we do not. Higgins inbounds the basketball to Adkins, who just checked back in. She jogs it through the backcourt, calling a play there. And directing a little traffic, getting things set up. She's going to dribble to the right, crossover dribble. Now she's going to hand it over to Adkins, top of the key. Isaac with the basketball, dribbles in, and I believe she is Going to be fouled. Yeah, the foul is going to be on Cook, Dominique Cook. That is her first foul and the first team foul uh, for, in the game for the Point Skyhawks. And here we go. Adkins on the baseline looking for an open teammate. Finds one right there in the paint. Higgins and a good-looking jump shot there from her from about eight foot out. She's got four points now and 25 to 12 to score. Short time, three seconds, pulling up at the – Line at the top of the key is Jimenez. Her shot does not fall, and the buzzer you hear in the background means that at the end of one, your score, point twenty-five, KCU 14. Back after this for the second period of play here on the Cool Hits Sports Network. Return. Refresh. Free fuel. Happy holidays from Clark's Pump and Shop. Stop in this winter weather season and warm up with one of our coffees, hot chocolates, or lattes. Custom made just the way you like it. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around and we're back here in Grayson getting ready to start period number two of play here between the KCU uh, Lady Knights and the Point Lady Skyhawks here in AAC basketball action in AIA basketball action and we're ready to rock and roll here as KCU is going to take the uh, 
Fake the inbound pass right in front of us. And Higgins takes it and off to the races is she. Layup doesn't fall though. And the rebound goes to point. So we're moving the other way. Jimenez takes the basketball, dribbles to her right, guarded by West. She kicks it back out front to her teammate, Cannon. Now in the lane with the basketball. Yeah, that was Owens, and Owens tried to get it back out front to Cannon, but her, her pass just out of the reach of her teammate, and it goes out of bounds here. So a turnover, and KCU will take the basketball. Adkins inbounds it to Higgins. She's going to take it across the stripe and look to her left back to Adkins. Adkins guarded by Jimenez. She's going to make her move, penetrate that lane left side, and draw the foul. The foul is going to be on number 32. That's Jimenez. That's her third foul of the basketball game. And first uh, team foul for KCU here in period number two. It's going to be KCU basketball. Applegate had the basketball. She looked back to her left, found Adkins. Oh, and a good looking pass down in the paint to Flowers. The shot doesn't fall, but she does draw the foul, so Flowers will take a trip to the line, and that's team foul number two from point. Flowers at the line. Two team fouls now for KC, or for point, excuse me. Flowers not attempted a free throw here tonight. First one falls, though. That's Three points for her in the ball game. And she looks to uh, reduce that point lead down to single digits. It's 25-15 right now, and this free throw doesn't fall, so it stays 25 to 14, or uh, 15, excuse me. For three right side, and getting it to fall is Amanda Hiley, Hewley. He's a three shooter, no doubt about it. KCU basketball now, Higgins with it. She looks to her right. Flowers for three, no good. Rebound goes to point. Cannon with the basketball. She's gonna give it over to Jimenez. Jimenez brings it across. Crossover dribble penetrates. Now kicks it back out to Boyd for three from the left. No good, rebound still being fought for. And KCU's going to come away with it. I think that's Applegate. It is. She got the rebound there. Gave, gave the ball back to Higgins. Higgins takes it. Looks to her left. Gives it to Adkins. That's Lake and Adkins. And a spin move there. And we've got a whistle. And I do believe that is going to be a foul on point on the floor. It is. And that one's going to go against Worrells. That'll be her first foul of the basketball game. Point now with three fouls as a team here in the second. West is going to do the inbound duty. She finds Higgins out in front of her. Higgins slowing the pace of the game down a little bit. Directing a little traffic. She's going to dribble to her right. Now looking back out front, she gives it to West. West thought about driving there. Ball knocked away, but West on it. We we'll have a jump ball here, and I believe the possession arrow is going to go to Point. So Point will take over possession of the basketball, and they've also got a 13-point lead. Jimenez in the backcourt. She's going to bounce pass it over to Cannon. She's going to bring it down. Cannon guarded by Higgins. Dribbles to the left. Now bounce pass into Jimenez. They uh, switch off uh, men there defensively, but a good series of passes that gets the ball down to Worrells, and the ball's knocked out of bounds there. And it's going to be last touch by KCU, I do believe. Yep. Good defense here from the Lady Knights. And here we go. Cannon in front of that KCU bench gets it into Jimenez. On the left corner, she pulls up for three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound goes to KCU. West kicks it over to Adkins. Adkins for three on the right side. It bounces off the front of the rim, then hits the backboard and falls out. And on transition here after the point rebound, looks like Boyd got tripped up there. 
And a foul called against KCU. Lloyd checking her knee pad there in the backcourt. Got a substitute for KCU into the basketball game is going to be Samantha Wells. Out comes Lakin Atkins. The inbound goes to Jimenez. She brings it across the line. Passes over to her right to Boyd. Boyd kicks it back out front. Now basketball in the hands of Hewley. Playing a little keep away here, passing around the arc. Now they get it down into the paint and the spin move there. Not able to get the shot to fall though is Hewley. And we've got a time, a five second violation there, I do believe. And we're coming the other way. KCU with the basketball. Higgins at the top of the key. She's going to cross over dribble, make a move and an underhanded layup there. She makes it look easy. That's six points for her now. KCU back within 11, 28 to 17 with 6.45 to go in the first half. Jimenez dribbles to her right. Gives it out front now into the hands of uh, Worrells who puts it up. And her shot falls. Back the other direction we go. Six points now for Worrells for point. A West three-pointer doesn't fall. And the rebound goes to point. Ball falls out of bounds. They were trying to get it down into the paint there uh, to Hewley. And it was off her fingertips. It goes out of bounds. And we've got a timeout here. A 30-second timeout and it called by point. Point with the lead here, 30 to 17. And Coach Khan over there in the, in the huddle, not happy right now. She's, she's letting her team know that they're not playing uh, how they should. They're coming in six and two and it, they're just, they're not hitting shots right now. 30 to 17 is the score. Happy to have you along here from Grayson. As I mentioned, this is game one of a boy or a men's women's double header. The women play here at noon and then immediately following that game, the men's programs from both of these universities will uh, be in action. The KCU Knights and the Point Skyhawks will be bringing you that action as well. And uh, looking forward to that as both teams make their way out and it's gonna be KCU basketball. Full, full court pressure here defensively from Point, but the inbound does get uh, into Adkins. She's gonna dribble across the timeline to the left, back out to the top of the key, crossover dribble. She goes into the lane. And I tell you, the dominating presence in that lane of Whirls, she's got a height advantage and uh, she's, she knows how to use it. And uh, KCU not able to get much uh, accomplished offensively down there in, uh, in the paint. And uh, a big part of that is because of Whirls. It's gonna be KCU basketball over uh, Next to the score table is West. She's going to inbound it to Higgins. Lay up, no good, and rebound goes to Point. Jimenez is going to bring it across the back court into the front court. She looks to her right, finds Boyd. Boyd bounce passes it inside to Worrells. Worrells ball stolen away though by Higgins. She's going to bring it down in transition, quick transition, and an underhanded layup there doesn't fall. Rebound goes to point. Boyd came down with it. She thought about taking it uh, herself, but in some traffic, she gave it back to Jimenez. Jimenez brings it across. Looking to her right, she's calling for a screen. Gets one, but goes the other direction. Boyd now with the basketball. Tried to lay up, doesn't fall. Rebound goes to Higgins. KCU moving the other way. West with the basketball in the left corner. Kicks it back out to Adkins for three left side. Doesn't fall. Rebound goes to point. Five minutes to go before the half. 30 to 17 your score. Big um, whirls in there in the paint. Spin move puts it up. No good rebound from Jimenez. Ball knocked away though. Back out front we go. Jimenez with the basketball. She's going to call a little traffic here and a wide open three-pointer on the right side there for Boyd. Got to think that might have been a miscommunication there from KCU defensively because she was wide open out there on the right wing. 10 points now for Boyd, 33 to 17 your score. Atkins takes the basketball, 
And uh, we've got an offensive foul on the floor. That's gonna be called. That's gonna be called against Flowers. I think a shove there on her. That's our second foul. KCU now with two fouls as a team in, uh, in this second period. Down to 4.15 to go before the half. You hear Coach Woolley over there uh, directing traffic, calling out some shots to his team. Driving right side in the lane and uh, denied there is Hewley, but the ball goes out of bounds. I think it was the last touch by KCU. Good defense there from the Knights. On the court now for KCU is uh, Cassie Bajens. Bajens a six foot two sophomore from Albany, Louisiana. And the inbound is taken by Boyd for an easy looking two points though. Not easy, but easy looking. She makes it look easy. 35-17 your score. They tried to get the ball down in the paint there to Bajens. She's just not able to haul it in. It goes out of bounds and we're moving the other way. Three minutes, 42 seconds on the clock. Point with the basketball. We're in the second quarter. Out front is Hewley. She's over on the left corner now. Put it up for three. Air ball goes out of bounds back the other way. Also in the basketball game for KCU, Taylor Isaac. She's going to inbound it to Higgins. Higgins brings it across. Looking to her right, finds West. West gets it back out front to Hardwick. Hardwick looks to her left to Isaac. KCU waiting on something to develop there from about 12 foot out. The shot does not fall for Isaac, and we're moving back the other way. A good pass down into the paint for Point to Cannon. She's guarded pretty heavily there by Higgins. If the shot doesn't fall, rebound goes to Higgins. She's going to bring it across herself, moving the, into the lane, driving left side in a fadeaway shot there across the baseline on the left side. Tell you what, she can do, do about anything you want her to. Eight points for Jada Higgins now, 35 to 19. Coach Woolley over there uh, getting a little animated, calling out some uh, offense to his team. Just to the left of the free throw line, the shot doesn't fall for point. Rebound goes to KCU. I think Isaac might have came down with it. She gets it back to Higgins. Higgins going to bring it across, slow the pace of the game down a little bit. Hands it over to West. West looks to her right to Isaac for three. No good off the back of the rim. And point comes down with it. Jimenez is going to bring it across in transition, a quick transition. Back out left side for three is Naughty. Not able to get it to fall. The rebound goes to Boyd for point. She has the basketball over on the right side. Good pass down inside and a shot from Cannon. It falls and that makes it 37 to 19. Down to a minute and a half to go, minute 33 seconds to go here in the second. KCU Higgins pulls up free throw line. Jump shot doesn't fall, rebound knocked around, taken by Isaac for three right side. And that one's money. That's three points for Isaac. Uh, they're back within uh, 15 points now, 37-22. Point leads uh, the KCU women's basketball team. Jimenez with it for uh, Point. Now Boyd with it on the left side. She drives on the left, and the shot falls. That's 14 points now for Matea Boyd. Isaac brings it down herself. Another three, and that one falls as well. She's a three shooter, no doubt about it. Six points for her, a quick six points. 39-25 down to 45 seconds to go here uh, before the half. Taylor Isaac, a 5'7 guard sophomore from Hinton, West Virginia. This is her sophomore year. She went to Alder Broadus last year. The shot doesn't fall. Doesn't, knocked out of bounds there. Last touch by point. And back into the basketball game are three Lady Knights. Back in comes uh, Kagan Adkins. Also back into the game comes Lakin Adkins. 
And Samantha Wells back in as well. Higgins and West are the other two Knights on the court. Higgins gonna bring it across, calling offense here. Short time here, about 10 seconds in the quarter. And a layup denied there, knocked out of bounds. The shot blocked really um, by Point Cannon, I think, got a hand on it. And it goes out of bounds, last touch by Cannon. Eight seconds here in the second. West is gonna be inbounding it from the baseline. She gets it into Higgins, left side, gets it back out front. Now back over left side for three is Higgins. And that one falls at the buzzer. A good looking three pointer there to close things out, but not enough to uh, get her team back in uh, the leading position, but 20, uh, 28 points for the Lady Knights. They're within 11 of the lead. It was up to almost uh, as much as 17 points. 39 to 28 your score here at the half. We're gonna step out, take a break, and we'll be back with some stats and a whole nother half of basketball after this on the Cool Hit Sports Network. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. In addition to the Greenup location, Stultz Pharmacy's newest location is at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore, but has retained the name you know and love, McDonald Pharmacy. With the same great service you'll find in the Greenup location, with free delivery service and their convenient drive through Get your vaccinations and allergy shots, and of course, great prescription service. At Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and McDonald Pharmacy, James Hanna Drive, South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. For those on the go, the smoothie connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, happy holidays from Clark's Pump and Shop. Stop in this winter weather season and warm up with one of our coffees, hot chocolates, or lattes, custom made just the way you like it. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Time here uh, between the KCU Lady Knights and the Point Lady Skyhawks. Point leads 39 to 28 here at the half. And I'll tell you how we got there in the first. Um, Point outscored KCU 25 to 14. So that's what the score was at the end of one period. Now in the second, both teams evenly at 14. So that that's a good thing for KCU. Uh, they they they. Uh, Scored the, the same as Point did in the second. 39 to 28 year score here at the half. We're gonna step out, take another break. And when we come back, we've got uh, individual stats and some analysis and a whole lot of basketball left to come. Don't go way back after this on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Make your everyday purchases faster, simpler, and more convenient with First National Bank's new contactless debit card, featuring a fresh new design and the ability to add your card to your phone's mobile wallet. Your debit card has never been more secure. Simply look for the contactless symbol at checkout, tap your contactless card, or hold your phone over the terminal and your payment is processed in seconds without your card number ever being exposed. Tap, pay, go. It's that easy with First National Bank. 
First National Bank in Cannonsburg, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Does your gas station or convenience store need a facelift? If so, call River City Builders at 473-4112 for your remedy. Big or small projects, River City's Builders is a company for all your needs. We have extensive experience in the petroleum industry, from routine gas dispenser and canopy maintenance to above-ground, underground tank and piping work to full-blown remodels and new builds. Call River City Builders at 473-4112 for all your petroleum needs. We'll cover your back and keep your customers pumping gas. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of Eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. Your score, point 39, KCU 28. Some individual stats we look at first for point. Uh, leading scorer in the first half, uh, Matea Boyd, 17 points. She was seven for nine uh, from the field, two for three from three, and one for one from the free throw line. And looking at the season stats for um, point, she's averaging 13.3 points per game. So a, a, a good showing here so far from Matea Boyd in the first half. Um, also looking around, second leading scorer, scorer excuse me, Kyleo Whirls was six points. She was three of six from the field. Also had five rebounds. Um, I, I forgot to mention, Matea Boyd also the, the team's leading rebounder was seven in the first half. Um, elsewhere on the stat sheet, Cheyenne Owens, two points. She's one for one from the field. Muriel Cannon. Uh, six points for her, two for seven from the field, uh, one three-pointer as well. And she was also two for two from the free throw line. Nadi, Shinedu Shin, Nadi, I got the pronunciation for that before the game, and I, I'm still probably messing it up, and I do apologize for that. Three points for her. She's one for three from the field, and uh, – As well, let's see, off the bench, um, Kyleo Worlds, I mentioned she's got six points. Uh, Amanda Hewley's got three points as well. And Marta Jimenez, uh, two points for her. Um, as a team, it looks like point um, in the first quarter shot 56.3% from the field, nine of 16 as a team. In the second, they were, um, that's from the field. And in the second, they were 37.5. So that's a pretty good recipe for success. Looking at Kentucky Christian University, leading scorer, Jada Higgins, she's got 11 points, five of 12 um, from the field. And a three pointer for her as well. Looks like, uh, only three of the five starters for KCU with points on the board. Jasmine Flowers has three, and Lakin Adkins has four. Um, Abby West still scoreless, and uh, that that's definitely something that uh, I'm sure Coach Kahn uh, addressing in the score in the in the locker room right now. She's averaging ten a game. We're going to step out. We've got one more break to get in, and when we come back, we'll have a whole other half of basketball. So don't go away back after this on the Cool Hit Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first-time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. 
Call, click, or stop by Members' Choice Credit Union today. Members' Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. In addition to the Greenup location, Stultz Pharmacy's newest location is at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore, but has retained the name you know and love, McDonald Pharmacy. With the same great service you'll find in the Greenup location, with free delivery service and their convenient drive through Get your vaccinations and allergy shots, and of course, great prescription service. At Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and McDonald Pharmacy, James Hanna Drive, South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy Return. Refresh. Refuel. Happy holidays from Clark's Pump and Shop. Stop in this winter weather season and warm up with one of our coffees, hot chocolates, or lattes. Custom made just the way you like it. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Back in Grayson, ready for action here in half number two of this women's basketball uh, matchup between Kentucky Christian University and the Point Skyhawks. Point leads 39-28 in the first half. Um, both teams pretty evenly matched as far as point, well, as far as uh, points from the bench, 11 to 10 point leads in that one as well. And here we go. Time for action. West brings it across for KCU. She's going to dribble to the left, look to her teammate Flowers. Flowers gets it back out front to Lake and Adkins. Spin move into the paint. And a two-point shot as well as a foul on point. So a three-point play gets KCU a, a potential three-point play. Gets KCU uh, back into this one. A single-digit lead for the first time in quite a while for point. And the free throw up and good. Cuts the lead to eight. Lincoln Adkins uh, coming up big here for her team. 9.40 on the clock here in the third. Point with the basketball. Jimenez is going to drive right side. Crossover dribble. She's going to kick it back out to her teammate. Jimenez with the basketball. Ball almost stolen away there. Owens with the spin move, but a rebound goes to Lake and Atkins, who's going to bring it across herself. A quick transition gets it all the way down into the paint and then bounce passes it back outside to Flowers. Flowers gets it over, almost taken away, though. Atkins with the basketball. Atkins gives it, gives it to West on the baseline. She passes it to Higgins. Back out front, it goes to Atkins. Almost, that's Lake and Atkins, almost hits a three. Doesn't fall, though. Back the other way we go. Jimenez, a quick transition. Bounce pass down inside, gets it down to Cannon. Cannon back over to Owens. Owens with a spin move, ball knocked away. She picks it up though, and two points for her. That's not Owens, that's Naughty. So two points for Naughty. Puts her team back ahead by double digits, 41 to 31. It's gonna be KCU basketball here. West is gonna inbound it to Higgins. One uh, defender down there, Garden Higgins. She gets it back over to West, who brings it across. She's going to dribble to the right. Now crossover dribble. She's trying to make a move there. Gets a little screen action from At Lake and Atkins. The shot doesn't fall for West, and we're back the other way. Jimenez dribbles behind her back. Made a move there, but she's going to get it back out front to uh, Naughty. Naughty kicks it back inside. Gets it down to Cannon. Now back in the hands of Naughty on the baseline. She's going to drive left side, crossover. And makes it look easy there. The underhanded layup falls. And that puts her team ahead by 12 now. Point leads. 43-31. West with the basketball. Pulls up for three on the left side. And doesn't fall. Rebound goes to Worrells. And we're back the other way. Jimenez tries to get it down inside. And the ball's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by... KCU, good defense there, uh, knocking that pass away. And here we 
go, Whirls. Down there playing some, well, she was guarding the inbounder, but the ball goes into Jimenez. Shot knocked out of bounds. Last touch this time, my point. I think Jimenez might have got a hand on it there, and it's going to be KCU basketball. A little full court pressure here from the Skyhawks, and the inbound, long inbound pass is going to be caught by Flowers at midcourt. She's going to dribble in right side, guarded here by Boyd. Looks inside, finds Adkins in the paint. Her shot's blocked, though, goes out of bounds. And it is last touch, I believe, by Boyd. Yep. So it's going to be, nope, nope. We, it's going to be a foul. I didn't see the signal for the foul. I thought it was just a block shot and the ball went out of bounds. But no, it's going to be a foul um, on Boyd. That's only, I believe, her first foul of the ball game. First shot falls for Lake and Adkins. That's two for her now. Two for two from the free throw line, I should say. She's got six points. The second free throw on its way, and that one's good as well. Now she's three for three from the line. 30, uh, 43 to 33 is the score. Point with the basketball. Naughty gets it back out front to Cannon. Cannon kicks it over right side. Jimenez with the basketball. Now back out front to Boyd. Now back in the hands of Cannon who tries to make a move. Picks up her dribble. She has to get it back out to Boyd who drives in the lane left side. Layup no good, but she's fouled on the shot. So Boyd will take a trip to the free throw line. That's the first foul of the second half uh, for uh, KCU. But Looks like Boyd's going to take her uh, take her a trip to the free throw line. She's one for one from there today, and uh, we got a wet spot down under the basket there. They're trying to get that dried up. Everybody stays safe. Nobody slips and and uh, falls, hurts herself, anything like that. They've got the spot cleaned up, and we're almost ready to roll. One of the officials out there talking to Boyd at the free throw line, um, and here we go. Matea Boyd. Shots up, and it is good. 44-33. That's her second free throw of the ball game, two for two from there. Second one up, off the back of the rim, no good. And rebound does go back to point, though. Jimenez with the basketball. She's guarded by Atkins. Kicks it right side to Naughty. Naughty gets it back into uh, Worrells. Ball knocked away, stolen by West. And she's moving the other way in a hurry. She's going to bring it herself and then kick it back out front to Adkins for three. That's Kagan Adkins for her first three points of the ball game. KCU now within eight, 44 to 36. And we've got a timeout on the floor. That one's taken by a point. And Coach Khan, much different uh, demeanor this time around. She's happy with the team, uh, with the way her team is playing, and she should be. Got a full timeout. We're going to step out, take a break. 44-36, your score. Back after this on the Cool Hit Sports Network. For those on the go, the smoothie connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, happy holidays from Clark's Pump and Shop. Stop in this winter weather season and warm up with one of our coffees, hot chocolates, or lattes, custom made just the way you like it. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Are you having trouble keeping your parking lot lit? Is customer safety one of your top priorities? If so, call River City's Builders at 473-4112 for all your lighting needs. We have bucket truck and boom crane truck services. We have extensive experience in exterior lighting and parking lot lighting maintenance. No need to ever be in the dark again. Remember, call River City's Builders at 473-4112 for all your lighting needs. We will light your path to success. Back in Grayson, both teams making their way back out onto the court after the timeout. Uh, KCU got it back down to eight points and uh, looking to chip away at that lead some more here with 6.21 to go in the third. 
Inbound goes to Jimenez. She's going to dribble to the right. Pulls up and gets it into Boyd at the free throw line. She makes her move, drives right side, nothing there. Kicks it back out for three. Naughty, no good. Rebound knocked around, taken by KCU's Lakin Adkins. She gets it to Higgins, who's going to bring it through the backcourt. Kicks it over to Flowers. Flowers dribbles in and a whistle and a foul from Matea Boyd. Nope. Foul on Jimenez. That, by my calculation, I think that might be her fourth foul of the basketball game. Inbound's going to go to Higgins. She kicks it back out front. Now to West. Now back over. Uh, and the ball stolen away there. Jasmine Flowers had it. Ball taken away, though. Him, or Jimenez is going to bring it down for point. She's looking to her left. Caught a little traffic here. Calls for a screen. But instead, she's going to give it down inside to Wiggins. Back out front. It goes to Naughty. Up and no good. I said Wiggins. I meant to say Whirls. Either way, out of bounds. And it's going to be KCU basketball. 44-36 is your score. Five minutes, 31 seconds to go here in the third. Higgins is going to bring it across the timeline. Looking to the right, now to the left. Gets it over to Lake and Adkins right at the charity stripe. Back out front it goes to Higgins. Higgins trying to make a move there, crossover dribble. She's just going to pull up. Shot doesn't fall, though, from uh, to the left of the free throw line. And Jimenez brings it down for point. The basketball down to Whirls in the paint. Good defense here from KCU, nothing doing there. She does have one shot, but the ball's knocked around and stolen away by KCU. And we've got a whistle and a foul on the floor. I do believe that means we're into the bonus now. Five team fouls for point. We'll send KCU to the free throw line here in uh, college women's basketball action. Yep, that's exactly what's going to happen. And Higgins is going to take a trip to the free throw line for one and one. Into the basketball game now for KCU, Savannah Parker. Uh, her first uh, appearance here tonight. She's a 6'1 freshman center from Mount Sterling. She went to Montgomery County High School. And here comes the first free throw from Higgins. It falls. So she gets another uh, shot at it. 44-37, point lead down to seven points now. And here comes free throw number two. Hits off the front of the rim, bounces out, and taken by Whirls for point. She gives it over to Jimenez. Jimenez is going to walk it through the backcourt. No, no uh, real urgency to get across. Picks up her pace, though, kicks it over left side to Whirls. Now back out front, it goes to Naughty. Naughty's going to dribble in, picks up a dribble spin move, or pivot foot, shot no good. Whirls put back no good, and the rebound goes to Higgins. Higgins is going to bring it across, look to her left. Now getting it down inside, but the ball's taken away. She's trying to get it down there to Parker, but not able to haul it in. And a quick transition layup there. Matea Boyd gets another, another point. And moving the other way in a hurry. 46-37, uh, a nine-point lead for point. And here we go at the top of the key. Higgins gets it down to Parker. Parker puts it up no good. And rebound fought for him. We've got a jump ball there. Parker in on it, as is Cannon from point. And we've got another timeout here. No, I don't believe we do. I thought we had a timeout. We did not. We have a substitute, though. Off the court comes Adkins. And back on comes Lakin Adkins. So Kagan goes off. Lakin comes on. No, Lakin was already on. Kylie Gillum back on the court. Excuse me. Uh, Kylie Gillum back on the court for KCU. Jimenez with the basketball. Flips it up to Cannon. Cannon brings it into the paint. Two points for her. Made that one look easy. 48-37 now. An 11-point lead for the Skyhawks. Higgins picks up a dribble at the top of the key. Kicks it over to Gillum. Gillum looks to the right to West. West tries to penetrate there. Good defense. Layup no good. The rebound goes to point. Jimenez brings it across. A good pass under the basket, but not able to get the shot to fall. The putback, though, 
We've got a foul on the putback. I think that was Whirls down there with the basketball. She was trying to get something to fall, but she's fouled in the process. So Whirls will take a trip to the free throw line. And Jackham's up comes on for, for uh, KCU. Off comes Parker. The foul was on Parker. Campbell Jackham's up. Uh, five foot four freshman guard from Russell, Kentucky. She went to Russell High School, a good high school basketball player. Now she, her home is in Grayson here. First free throw up, no good. 48-37 your score. Three minutes, 12 seconds to go in the ball game. Or in the third quarter, excuse me. Second free throw up for Morals, and that one falls. 49-37. West brings it across the timeline for the Knights. Gives it over to Higgins. She's out front now, directing a little traffic. Trying to make something uh, develop here. Cuts over to the left, puts it up. Jump shot from about six foot out. Shot doesn't fall. And we're moving back the other way. Jimenez directing a little traffic here. Backs back out. Thought about pulling up for three. Instead, she kicks it. A good pass there to Cannon in the paint and a layup for Muriel Cannon makes it 51-37. Back out to 14 points is the lead for Point. Point University. Higgins with the basketball. And she carried the basketball there. And we're back the other way. Back into the basketball game is Kagan Adkins as well as Jasmine Flowers for KCU. Off comes Gillum and Higgins. Inbound goes to Jimenez. A little, little more pressure here from KCU. We've got a foul right about midcourt, almost to midcourt in transition there. It's going to be called on Kagan Adkins there on the floor. Three team fouls now for KCU. Jimenez calling a little... I thought she was calling for a screen. She wasn't. She was just calling for a teammate to come up so she can pass her the ball. Now Jimenez with it. Right side for three. Doesn't fall. Rebound goes to Whirls. She gets it back out front to Boyd. Now back out to Jimenez. Jim, Jimenez kicks it back to Boyd. Now over left side to Naughty for three. Off the front of the basket, but she gets her own rebound. She's going to look to the right to Jimenez. Jimenez kicks it over to Cannon. Cannon back out front to Boyd. Boyd dribbles to the left, gives it back to Naughty. Naughty back to Jimenez. Jimenez pulls up for three, left side, and the shot falls. Fifty-four thirty-seven. your score now. We're down to a minute, 19 seconds to go in the third. On the right side with the basketball is Jack and Zuck. She gets it into Adkins. Adkins tries to get a, a layup going there, and just doesn't fall. And a quick transition down, Naughty in the paint, puts it up no good. And Worrells gets the rebound, kicks it back out front to Jimenez. She pushes it, then gets it back out front to Naughty. Naughty back to Boyd, back to Jimenez. Now over again to Naughty, now back to Boyd. Then back to Cannon, just play a little keep away here. Jimenez gets it back down to Boyd on the left wing. She's gonna drive baseline, no good. Shot doesn't fall, but it does reset the shot clock. Back out front is Jimenez. She's guarded by West, looks to her right, finds Naughty. Naughty's gonna dri drive, bring it back out. Bounce pass to Whirl in the left corner. Whirl gets it over to Cannon. She gets one to fall from about 20 foot out, about, about 15 foot out, we'll say. 56-37, now your score, down to 18 seconds in the third. West is gonna bring it through the backcourt, driving to the left, makes a move, gets it back out to Jack and Zuck on the left corner. She kicks it back out to Kagan Adkins for three, air ball. Shot doesn't fall, and the buzzer you hear means that at the end of three, your score, point. 56, KCU 37. Back after this on the Cool Hit Sports Network. 
Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. With loan rates at or near historical lows, now is the time to talk to one of the experienced loan officers at First National Bank. We can help you with that new car or home you've been wanting. Let us work with you to reach the payment level you're comfortable with. You can now access our loan application online at fnbgrayson.com or give us a call today at 606-928-0000 and we can make your loan happen. First National Bank in Cannonsburg, member FDIC, equal housing lender. And point pulled back ahead here later on in the third quarter. Casey, you had it down to seven points was the uh, narrowest margin in the third. But we're back out to 56-37, a 19-point lead for the Point Skyhawks over the KCU Knights. Coach Kahn still over there giving her team uh, some last-minute instructions here. As the buzzer you heard in the background mean it's time to uh, resume play here for quarter number four. Back out on the court first is point, but KCU not far behind. Looks like West is gonna be handling the inbound duties over here in front of the table. And here we go, she gets it into Higgins. Higgins brings it across the timeline, top of the key, driving right side, layup, no good. Rebound goes to Whirls for point. Uh, she gets it back over to Jimenez. Jimenez is gonna bring it across. Walks it across the timeline, looks to her right, finds Boyd, gets it back out front to Cannon. Cannon looks to her left, finds Naughty. Naughty gets it over to Jimenez. Jimenez to Cannon from the left wing. A long two-pointer doesn't fall. And we're going back the other way. Higgins in a hurry. Gets it over to Adkins. That's Lakin Adkins, top of the key. She drives. And two points for Lakin Adkins. 56-39. And we're moving back the other way. Ball gets loose, though. It's picked up by a point. Cannon with the basketball. No, that's Boyd with the basketball. And we've got a foul on the floor. The, the, the shot didn't count. But it is going to be a foul against KCU. Lakin Adkins uh, picks up her first foul. Inbound pass goes way out front. It gets loose into the backcourt, but it's picked up by Naughty. She's going to bring it across, dribbling to the right, looking, finding Boyd for three. No good. Air ball. Rebound goes to Lindsey Castle. She's going to bring it down herself. Looks to her right, finds Higgins. Higgins gets back out front, top of the key. Now she's going to dribble back to the right. Thought about bounce, bounce passing it. Does not. Gives it to West, who's going to drive. Layup doesn't fall. Shot was blocked, really, and it goes out of bounds. It's going to be KCU basketball. Last touch by a couple of, uh, one of a couple of defenders down there. Back in for KCU is going to be Kagan Atkins. Off comes Abby West, and the inbound pass from Atkins finds its way to Lake and Atkins now for three on the right side is Castle, it doesn't fall though, and we're back the other way. Naughty with the basketball, gets it down inside to Worrells. She throws one up, and it falls. 58-39, a 19-point basketball game. Higgins drives right side, layup doesn't fall. Rebound goes to point, Jimenez got the basketball, and she's gonna bring it down herself. Jimenez, a graduate student, five foot six point guard from Barcelona, Spain. She last stop was at Western Texas before here and the ball stripped away, picked up by KCU's Lindsey Castle. She brings it across, gets it over to Lake and Atkins. Long jump shot, doesn't fall. Rebound fought for, taken by Higgins. And the shot falls for Higgins on the putback and she's gonna be fouled. Higgins 
13 points for her. She's going to take a trip to the free throw line back into the basketball game for KCU. Checks in Jasmine Flowers. And off comes Abby Applegate. Also back in for KCU is going to be, that's Samantha Wells. Off comes Lake and Adkins. Worrells gets a break for point as well. Her replacement, Cheyenne Owens. A free throw up from Higgins, and that one falls as well. 58-42 your, your score, a 16-point basketball game. Jimenez brings it across, looks to her right, finds Naughty. Naughty gets it down to Jimenez on the right wing. She gets it inside, and the ball taken away there by KCU's Kagan Adkins, and also a foul on the floor. I keep saying Kagan, I mean Reagan. I just can't read my own handwriting. I do apologize for that, that's Reagan Adkins. Inbound goes to uh, Higgins at midcourt. She's gonna bring it across on the left side. A pass down inside and a shot falls down under the basket. Samantha Wells gets on the board. 58-44 your score, six minutes, 55 seconds to go in this basketball game. And we've got a timeout over there. I believe that one is gonna be from point. It is a full timeout. So with 6.53 to go, your score Point fifty-eight, KCU 44, back after this on the Cool Hit Sports Network. In addition to the Greenup location, Stelz Pharmacy's newest location is at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore, but has retained the name you know and love, McDonald Pharmacy. With the same great service you'll find in the Greenup location, with free delivery service and their convenient drive through Get your vaccinations and allergy shots, and of course, great prescription service. At Stelz Pharmacy in Greenup and McDonald Pharmacy, James Hanna Drive, South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. And we're back in Grayson. Quarter number four, 6.53 to go in this ball game. And KCU cuts the lead down. It was 19 just a few seconds ago. Now it's 14, 58 to 44. And uh, the Knights have to get something rolling pretty quick to get back in this ball game. Gonna be point basketball. Jimenez with it right side. A screen from Worrells, uh, but Jimenez gets it back out to her teammate Naughty at the top of the key. She kicks it back over to Jimenez. Another screen for Worlds. Good defense here from KCU's West. A three-point ball doesn't fall. And the rebound still being fought for. Ball's on the floor. And Jimenez comes away with it. Jimenez left side, picks up a dribble, gets it back out front to Boyd. Boyd looks to her right, finds Naughty. Back out front to Worlds. Now back to Boyd on the left corner. Back out to Worlds, now to Jimenez on the right corner. A long three-pointer. Doesn't fall, but it does reset, reset that shot clock. At this point, Point just playing keep away ball. Let that clock run out. Jimenez with the basketball. Fake the handoff and drives left side. Re, or, uh, layup doesn't fall, but we do have a foul. And that one's going to be on Reagan Adkins. And it'll send Jimenez to the line. And we've got a timeout over on the KCU side. Uh, just a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Don't forget, right after this game, we have another game. This is a men's-women's doubleheader here in Grayson today. The ladies are playing first, immediately following this game. The KCU men's basketball team and the Point men's basketball team are in action here. That one uh, set to start right about 2 o'clock. We'll see how that works out. But nonetheless, a good day of basketball here in Grayson and all around the area. 
We've got several games coming up on the Cool Hit Sports uh, Network later on, and uh, we'll talk about that here in a few minutes as well. The buzzer you just heard in the background means both teams making their way back out at the free throw line is Marta Jimenez. I mentioned a few moments ago, she's a five foot six graduate student from Barcelona, Spain. Uh, she was at Western Texas before this. Free throw falls for Jimenez, 59-44, a 15 point lead for point. Second shot up and that one falls as well. That, make, that increases the lead to 16 points now. And here we go the other way. Higgins is going to bring it across, looking to her left. A good bounce pass into the paint to Reagan Atkins and a good looking layup there for KCU. 60 to 46, five and a half to go. Three quarter court pressure here from KCU. Tight defense, but a series of passes gets it down into the paint, but it's stolen away. And I believe we've got a whistle over there and a kickball called. So it's going to be uh, point basketball. Don't really, the, the pass is kind of thrown into the leg of the defender there, but nonetheless, that's the rule. 60 to 46 is your score. Jimenez with the basketball for point. Gets it over to Cannon. Cannon dribbles in, now back out to Jimenez. Over to Boyd on the left corner. She's going to dribble in. Now kick it back out to Cannon with three seconds on the shot clock. And the three ball falls for Muriel Cannon. And that puts her, te her team back ahead by 17. 63-46 your score. West with the basketball. Top of the key. She throws it all the way across the court over to Adkins for three. That one doesn't fall. Reagan Adkins. Shot doesn't fall, rebound goes to point. We're moving the other way. Jimenez brings it across the timeline. She's on the right side, just letting that time run out. Shot clock down to 17 seconds, guarded by West behind the back dribble. She's gonna make a move, now kick it back over to Boyd. She's gonna drive right side. Rebound goes to KCU's West. West brings it across in transition, makes a couple moves, and her layup on the left side is knocked away and a foul as well. So that'll stop the clock at four minutes, 18 seconds. And Abby West will take a trip to the charity stripe. First free throw up and good for Abby West. 47 now on the board for KCU. 63 to 47 your score, four minutes, 18 seconds to go. Second shot up and it does not fall. It's in and out, it's one of those hangers, but it, hang it falls the wrong way for KCU, 63-47. A long pass down the court, knocked out of bounds there. Good defense from KCU's Lake and Atkins. And Here we go, the inbound's gonna go to Jimenez. Jimenez right in front of the scorer's table over here. Or the media table, I guess it is. Jimenez still with the basketball though. She kicks it back out front to Cannon. Cannon gets it into Whirls in the paint. And a jump ball there. Higgins out of nowhere, got a hand in there and a jump ball. And I believe the possession arrow is gonna stay down there with point, yeah. And we've got a timeout. Nope. The possession arrow goes to KCU. Had a little confusion there. Now everybody making their way back down. It's going to be K Kentucky Christian University basketball. Higgins letting it roll through the backcourt. She's going to pick it up right about half court. Drives in there, hands it over to Lakin Adkins. Lakin drives, now kicks it back out. Flowers drives. Ball knocked away, picked up by point. Moving the other way is Jimenez. Jimenez looks all the way across the court and finds Boyd who drives baseline left side. Shot doesn't fall. And we've got Lakin Adkins with a physical rebound there. Gets it back to her teammates. Jasmine Flowers with the basketball. She gets it over to Reagan Adkins. Reagan Adkins gets it to Lakin Adkins at the top of the key. She's gonna drive, gets her body into whirls, puts it up, shot doesn't fall, but a foul. Lakin Adkins will take a trip to the line. A substitute in for KCU, Taylor Isaac comes in 
Off comes Jasmine Flowers, the starter. Taylor Isaac on the court now, a sophomore guard from Hinton, West Virginia. First shot up and good for Lake and Adkins at the line. She's a five foot 10 senior from Wayne, West Virginia. She's from out Wayne. Second shot up and that one good as well. 63-49, a 14 point lead for point with three minutes, 12 seconds to go. Ball almost stolen away there at mid court by Isaac, but Boyd comes away with it. Good physical defense here from KCU and we've got a timeout this time from point. 63-49 your score with three minutes, four seconds left to go in this basketball game. Point with a, with a lead that they've held on to throughout this uh, most of this entire basketball game. So uh, it's, go, it's gonna be a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Um, but that gives me a chance to uh, tell you later on today on the Cool Hit Sports Network, we've got several games, Boyd County at East Ridge, um, Fairview at Fleming County. Those are both, uh, those are both, I believe 7.30 start times. Also right now on is Raceland, uh, Pendleton County at Raceland. That one's on Cool TV as well. Tonight, a boy girl doubleheader at R Rowan County at Russell at 6 and 8 p.m. Paintsville at Lewis County at 3.30 and East Carter versus Bath County. That one's in the EKC tournament. Here we go with 2.53 to go. Point with the basketball. Naughty on the left wing makes a move. Good defense here though from KCU. Higgins got a hand in there and I do believe that's gonna be a foul on Higgins. It is and that is I mean, it's point basketball. The inbound goes to Naughty at the top of the key, but her shot's blocked, denied there. Isaac comes away with it. She's going to bring it down the court in some heavy traffic over there in front of her bench. The ball's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by point. Isaac there got it over in front of her bench. Kind of, she was in no man's land. Had two defenders in her face, and uh, her pass knocked out of bounds. The inbound goes to Lake and Adkins. Adkins gets it back to Higgins. Higgins is going to drive into the paint right side. She puts it up, no good. Rebound fought for, but Worlds just uses that height advantage, comes down with it. Jimenez is going to bring it down across the timeline. Ball knocked away there by West. Down to two minutes, eight seconds. Clock still rolling here, 63-49. Your score, another loose ball. And coming away with it there is going to be Cannon. And when she came down with it, she kept going. And that's a turnover there after the traveling. And that means we're moving the other direction. Higgins gonna get a break back on for KCU is Kylie Gillum. And it's gonna be KCU basketball. Reagan Atkins gonna be handling inbound duties. Abby West in the backcourt there. Point showing. Some pressure here with a defender in the backcourt, but they're able to get the pass off to Abby West, who's gonna bring it across the timeline. She looks to her right toward Isaac, and it's off the fingertips of Isaac. Ball kind of out of her reach, but she tried to get it, not able to pull it in, and that's a turnover there with a minute 56 seconds to go in the ball game. Inbound pass to Jimenez. Jimenez gets it back to Cannon. Cannon going to bring it across. KCU showing a little pressure there, but Cannon gets it across. Back to Jimenez, back out front to Boyd. Boyd looks left to Naughty. Now back to Boyd, now back to Whirls. Jimenez back to Whirls, back to Cannon. Just playing that keep away game, passing it around the arc, but Naughty pulls up for three. Shot doesn't fall. Ad Adkins comes away with it. She's going to bring it coast to coast herself. The layup, though, doesn't fall. Knocked out of bounds. And it's going to stay in the hands of KCU. Last touch by point. Substitutes for both teams <clears throat> on for KCU comes Hardwick. And on for point comes Destiny Ellison. And here we go. The inbound goes to Gillum. Gillum puts it up in the paint after a spin move. 
doesn't fall. Rebound though for point comes from Ellison. She's gonna bring it across, look to her left to Dominique Cook who also just came in the basketball game. Cook got it down to Whirl. She tried to put it up, no good, and a foul on the floor. With a minute, six seconds left in the ball game. Also on for KCU. Looks like Samantha Wells coming in, giving Lake and Adkins a break. Another wet spot there. Right there in the paint. Ellison went over and got the, the mop there, cleaned that up. Also in the basketball game, another sub, Kyra Hart comes on. A little bit of a, a size difference there. Kyra Hart comes on, uh, gives a break to Whirls. Whirls listed at six foot two. Kyra Hart listed at five foot three. Here we go. The inbound goes to Boyd. Boyd kicks it back out front to Miranda. Miranda gets it back down. Baseline driving is Cook and the ball stolen away. West is gonna come away with it and she's gonna take it coast to coast. Goes for the layup and a foul on the shot there. And really no, she tried to shoot it, but not able to even go through the motion there. She was kind of being held down. So she'll, uh, Abby will take a trip to the free throw line. Off comes Isaac for KCU. In comes Bell Sparks. Boyd comes off for point and on comes Jackson. That's Alexandria Jackson. Abby West at the line, shooting two. First one up and good. Looks like over there we've got uh, Abby Applegate waiting to sub in. I believe she'll be in for West. The second free throw falls for West, 63-51. Applegate comes on, gives West a breather with 54 seconds left to go in this basketball game. The inbound pass. Goes into Ellison. Ellison's gonna bring it across. Looks to her right. Now back out front, it goes to Ellison. She's calling for some, for, I think she was calling for a screen there. Anyway, she kicks it over to Hart. Hart drives right side, rebound KCU. Kylie Gillum brings it across. She's driving to her right. Now back to the left. And a pass, just a miscommunication there. And the ball taken by a point. Kyra Hart brings it across, down to 16, 15 seconds to go. And Hart just gonna content to dribble the ball, let the clock run out, down to eight seconds now. So your final score of this ball game is gonna be point 63 and KCU 51. Point improves to above 500 now at four, uh, excuse me, at five and four. And KCU's record moves to six wins, three losses. We're going to step out, take a break, and we've got uh, some final stats uh, left to come here from Grayson for game one of a men's and women's doubleheader back after this on the Cool Hits Sports Network. You know, financial security begins at home with home ownership. If you've been putting off looking for a home because you think you can't afford it, you owe it to yourself to check out Members Choice Credit Union. Members Choice Credit Union has programs for first time home buyers and more to help put you in the home of your dreams. Call, click, or stop by Members Choice Credit Union today. Members Choice Credit Union, NMLS 411945, Equal Housing Lender. Call for additional information. Other restrictions may apply. In addition to the Greenup location, Stultz Pharmacy's newest location is at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore, but has retained the name you know and love, McDonald Pharmacy. With the same great service you'll find in the Greenup location, with free delivery service and their convenient drive through Get your vaccinations and allergy shots, and of course, great prescription service. At Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup and McDonald Pharmacy, James Hanna Drive, South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. For those on the go, the smoothie connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, happy holidays from Clark's Pump and Shop. Stop in this winter weather season and warm up with one of our coffees, hot chocolates, or lattes, custom made just the way you like it. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. 
When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. And we're back here in Grayson, Kentucky. Final score of game one of them. Men's women's doubleheader uh, in the women's game. Point defeats Kentucky Christian University 63-51. I'll tell you how we got there. In uh, quarter number one, the final score after that quarter, uh, point 25, Kentucky Christian University 14. Both teams scored 14 in the second quarter and that made it 39 to 28 at the half. In the third quarter, Point outscores Kentucky Christian University 17 to nine, and then Kentucky Christian outscores uh, Point by a 14 to seven margin in quarter number four, and that made your score 63 to 51. Uh, looking at some individual stats first for Point, it looks like uh, leading scorer, number 11, Matea Boyd had 20 points. Uh, number 13, Muriel Cannon had 15 points. These are all starters. Number 21, Shinedu Nadi had seven points. And uh, Shavon Owens with two points. Destiny Ellison held scoreless. Uh, off the bench, it looks like uh, leading scorer off the bench was Kyleo Worles, who came in and made her presence known for sure. She had 19 rebounds, 11 of them on the defensive side of the court. Also nine points for her, leading rebounder in the basketball game. Matea Boyd, I should mention, also with a double-double. 20 points, 13 rebounds. A pretty good day at the office for her. Uh, it looks like Amanda Hewley had three points and Marta Jimenez with seven. Um, total field goal percentage for the basketball game for point, 38.7% from three, 27 0.3%, and then a really uh, a really good stat for point, for point uh, from the free throw line, 81.8%. Uh, turn our attention to the home team on the scoreboard, your KCU Knights, the five starters. Uh, production looks something like this. Three points, four rebounds for Abby West. Reagan Adkins, five points, no rebounds. Uh, Lakin Adkins, 13 points and three rebounds. All three of those coming on the defensive side of the floor. Jada Higgins with 15 points, eight rebounds, seven coming on the defensive side of the score, or of the court, excuse me, and then Jasmine Flowers with three points. Off the bench, Taylor Isaac finished with six points, three rebounds. Um, Samantha Wells had two points. And Kylie Gillum finished with two points and a rebound as well. Total field goal percentage for the game. Uh, from the from field goal, KCU was 32%, only 20% from three, and 78.6% from the free throw line. In the paint, uh, Point outscored KCU 32-21. Point had 11 points off turnovers. KCU, though, had 16 uh, second chance points, uh, point leads in that category as well, 17 to six. Uh, neither team had points off fast break from their bench. Uh, point with 19 points, uh, KCU with 12. The score was tied in the basketball game one time. That was early on in the first, and the lead changed one time as well. I think KCU went ahead maybe two to zero, something like that. The, uh, largest lead was 19 by a point. That was with 31 seconds in the third quarter. And the largest lead by KCU was 2-0. to zero. That was with 9.54 in the first. So we're going to step out, take a break, and we'll be back to wrap things up. Uh, again, your final score of game number one of the doubleheader, point 63, KCU 51. That's in women's basketball. Back after this on the Cool Hit Sports Network.
Does your gas station or convenience store need a facelift? If so, call River City Builders at 473-4112 for your remedy. Big or small projects, River City's Builders is a company for all your needs. We have extensive experience in the petroleum industry, from routine gas dispenser and canopy maintenance to above-ground, underground tank and popping work to full-blown remodels and new builds. Call River City Builders at 473-4112 for all your petroleum needs. We'll cover your back and keep your customers pumping gas. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Jennifer Epperly, loan officer at First National Bank in Cannonsburg. I personally invite you and all local businesses to visit our beautiful new building in Cannonsburg on US Route 60 next to the Walmart entrance. We offer many services including personal, mortgage, and business loans. First National Bank is locally owned by the McGuire family of Ashland and has been in business since 1902. We aim to give you the personal attention and best customer service there is to offer. Come inside, talk with us, and let us make you a part of the First National Bank family. First National Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the new Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit on campus. Back here in Grayson, final score of the evening, uh, point .63, KCU 51. That's game one of a men's women's doubleheader. The women play first and the men play right now. They're out on the court getting warmed up. We're going to step out, take a break, uh, step out of this stream and into another stream. Uh, but before we do, I did want to mention uh, KCU women back in action in a few days. They've got a few days uh, here to uh, – recuperate and get things rolling for the next game back in action on the road December the 8th uh, that's Thursday at Cincinnati Claremont uh, big thank you to, to uh, Mr. and Mrs. James Collier for helping me out here and Dwayne back to the station we're going to step out take uh, take a few minutes and we'll be back for game number two on the cool hit sports network thank you been watching and listening to KCU basketball on the Cool Hit Sports Network and Cool TV. Tonight's game has been brought to you in part by Park Pump and Shops of the Tri-State, a and Porta Potties, River City Builder, Store Pharmacy, Members Choice Credit Union, Grace Hermanos Mexican Restaurant, First National Bank of Grayson, and Kentucky Christian University. This broadcast of KCU basketball has been an exclusive sports presentation of the Cool Hit Sports Network and Cool TV.